Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing how to use Microsoft Word Mail Merge feature. To be able to use this feature of Microsoft Word, you have to have two files. So you have to have your document file, obviously, so which will serve as your template, and your source file, which is made from a spreadsheet program like Microsoft Excel. So I have here a template, a sample template for Certificate of Enrollment. As you could see, I have here the date. I have here some blank fields. So we will be calling the blank areas here as fields. This is to certify that. So we expect that this is the name of the student is officially enrolled as a grade, grade level under the black tract, blank strand with LRN during the blank semester for school year. So this blank spaces again will be treated as fields when you look at our source file so you could actually see here those fields that we will be filling in to our template like LRN student name the grade level track strand semester and school year it's advised that when you do mail merge you come up with a folder where the two files can be found like in on, on this particular example I have here the cert of enrollment folder under my documents and I have here my certificates of enrollment template and my enrollment register so the file name of my excel file here is enrollment register and the file name of my template here is certificates of enrollment template uh, so let's start now with the mail merge the purpose of the mail merge is if I want to come up with certification of these 10 students of, or even if I have more students, I do not have to manually input uh, the following information like their LRN, student name, and the rest in a given form again and again. So that will be very time consuming. I will just be making use of mail merge to be able to automatically fill in fields in these blank areas so if you could recall so this is supposed to be the name of the student this is the grade level of the student this is the track where he or she is enrolled in his or her strand the LRN and the semester and school year that he or she is in to start mail merge you just have to click on mailings you choose select recipients and since we already have our excel file you click on use an existing list and then from here you have to browse to the location of your source file so the excel file is your source file in my case it's under documents and cert of enrollment so i have to click on enrollment register here click on open and I will be uh, prompted with this particular screen if in case your Excel file contains different worksheets so you have to choose the corresponding worksheet where you will be lifting the fields in my example I only have here a single worksheet so I could only see here sheet 1 again if you have uh, a workbook that has multiple worksheets it has to be uh, the worksheet that bears the field names that you will be selecting so I'll be selecting here sheet 1 since it's the only option I'll click on OK once it's done you'd notice that the rest of the icons on the mailings ribbon are now accessible so let's start now lifting the different fields so this is supposed to be the name of the student so you have to click on insert merge field and then choose student name so you could actually see that this is actually a field when you click on student name you, you could uh, see their uh, highlights of uh, gray uh, shaded field now so if it's highlighted when you click a particular field so meaning to say that it is indeed 
a field. No? So, you have to click on the grid area here. And then, insert merge field. So, I'll choose grid level or grid. In my case, I'll highlight the area for the track. Insert the track. I'll highlight the area for the strand and insert the strand. And then for the LRN, for the semester, this particular area here. And for the school year. Remember that whatever format you set for the different fields here will be the format uh, of your actual values. So if you set the format to bold, underline, italicized, they will be displayed as such. So to be able to see the different values now, you could actually just click here, preview results. So you could see here the name of the student, the grade level, her strand, the track or the, the track and the strand the LRN, the semester and the school year. So when you navigate through this so you could see the record of the next student the third one, the fourth one and so on. So you could simply just uh, click on finish and merge here and start printing the documents if you want to print all or if you want to do some minor editing, you could just uh, click on edit and uh, edit individual documents and do some minor editing prior to printing. But uh, one more thing that you might want to do is whenever you open this template, you also want the date to update. In that particular case, you don't really have to come up with a date field from your source file. I, I will just be changing this part. If you notice when I click November 8, 2021, you could not see any highlighted uh, text like this one since it's not a field. It will not update automatically. So if I will be printing my certification tomorrow, it won't be updated to November 8 or some other day that is uh, dependent on the actual date of your computer. So if you want this particular date to automatically update, so I will just be deleting this one. And I will make my date as a field so that it will update automatically. So I, to do that, uh, you may click on insert. And you may click on this particular icon here. It, it is called explore quick parts. Click on arrow down at the right side of it. Click on field. Since I want it to be a field now. And then, I could actually click on Categories here. I will choose Date and Time. And choose Date. And choose the Date Format. So, I'll choose November 8, 2021 here. And then, click on OK. Uh, so, November 8 will appear here. The only difference is, when I click on the Date here, you could actually see that it is highlighted in gray. So, meaning to say that it is a field. And it will update automatically. So that's basically how you do mail merge. So I'll just show you uh, the output, edit individual documents, and then I could just edit the current record or all. So I'll click on all so that I could see all 10 records that, that are ready for printing. So I have Ana Santos here, and then Joey, Elsa Jose, and the rest. So if you could see and browse when I browsed through my uh, created document, so I could simply click on uh, print to print all of this. So this is basically how you do mail merge. So for our next uh, discussion, I will be discussing about how to actually use mail merge and save individual file of students with their corresponding file name. Should you want to email the individual file to each recipient. So that will be the next topic. So goodbye everyone and have a good day.